Hello everyone, this is PPM Larkspur. I'm going to show you how to modify your Nerf Jolt um, gun. Here we have a plastic Jolt gun and a screwdriver. These are all the supplies you will need to modify your Jolt Nerf gun. Now, to start off, we look at the bottom of the Jolt. It has four screw holes for screws. And to start off, you'll need to unscrew all of them and take them out and keep them in a safe place because you're going to need them for later. But to save time, I only use, I only um, left in two, so at least the spring would hold inside. Now, inside your Jolt Nerf gun, there is a spring and an air compressor which will help your which will help your bullet fly now in this particular jolt nerf gun i have not done any modifications to this at all and i am just going to show a basic tutorial on how to modify it so it will be a little better for you so, once you unscrew all four screws, then you need to, then you will see, like this, you will see the jolt body, the cock, the cocking thing, this plate that keeps it onto the gun, and a spring. Now, the next step is you press the trigger of the jolt and pull out the whole thing. Now, you will see the air compressor in which when you pull back, the cocking device, the spring will compress. And then when you press the trigger, the trigger will let go of the air compressor, making it fly in, shooting the bullet far. Now I know that the Jolt is a pretty powerful gun. Now to make it even more to your likeness, there will be a screw on the top of the air compressor and it will be inside an orange ring and you will need to unscrew that taking the whole thing off leaving it to the side now you will take off the spring and put it to the side and then you will put back the air compressor there's a little hole on the um, caulking device and you'll put that in and screw it down to make till it's tight and not wobbly so then your air compressor will be able to shoot the Nerf gun and it will shoot the bullet far because it compresses the air in the air compression chamber. Now you will have no spring but the same parts. Now you will place you will place the place the um air compressor back in its chamber and hook up the lid of the air compressor to the to the base of the jolt nerf gun and screw it back on tight so there are all four screws I'm just going to show two to save time um, screw two to save time, but um, usually you would screw all four screws in there so that it will be nice and tight. Now, so now how the Jolt Nerf gun works now, it you will insert a bullet in the top. One minute, let me demonstrate. You will insert a bullet in the top of the gun in the bullet chamber. You will pull back the cocking device. You will press the trigger and then with your hand you will push down on the cocking device while simultaneously pressing the trigger and it will go a lot more powerful 
than the original Jolt Nerf gun. Thanks for watching.